Gallagher out to Bowen. Neatly done by Jared Bowen. Potential for England. Well, they tried twice. Missy, lovely little ball in from Gallagher. Returned, lovely run, crossing, as we call that corridor, and we've got two white shirts. Johnston required. Well, Bacchus just saw the opportunity. Quick snapshot. Actually, I'm not sure who got something on that. I think it was Tamori. Bacchus shoots. I think it's heading towards the far post. No danger at all. Until it got that deflection. There's no foul there on Watkins. Boyle's cross. Oh! Mitchell Duke caught it sweetly, and England thankful that wasn't on target. It's a lovely connection, I've got to say. He's not too far away as well. Grealish into Madison. Watkins is off and running. Matt Ryan's come to meet him. Watkins! So close. It stayed on side two. Just that change of pace from England, it was. Two or three slow passes and then away, you're gone. Brilliant run again, lovely pass, lovely waiting pass. I'm thinking Ollie's going to take it first time and just slip it past the keeper. Low towards his feet, in and around his feet. Long from Bacchus. England were looking towards the referee's assistant for a flag. It didn't arrive, they could be in trouble here. Oh, Lewis done with a brilliant block. Fabulous defending from Lewis Dunk to deny Ryan Strain. I think he's offside, and I think he's leaning forward. I think the top half of his body may be offside, just leaning in there, his shoulder. Lovely little hold-up play, though. Look at that, lovely little pass in there, and I'm thinking to myself, you have to score. You have to lift those ones. Now Bowen against Rolls. Managed to get it across. Madison! Behind in the end by Suter. So much better. One and two touch. One and two touch. Control, pass, control, pass. Get your winger one on one. And away you go. Everybody back to defend this for Australia. Whipped in by Madison, comfortably defended by Suter. Back in from Alexander Arnold. Ryan back pedals. Will it fall for Grealish? Followed in by Watkins. England find a way through. Ollie Watkins gets the congratulations. Just as he did on his first England start, on his second, he scores. Amazing ball from Trent Alexander. He's not even thinking about anything else apart from putting it back into an amazing area. Jack Grealish keeping it alive, flashing it across the box. It's a shot for goal, without a doubt. And Ollie Watkins is in the perfect centre-forwards position. As a centre-forward, you just make sure the ball doesn't go dead. If it's going to go past you, it's going to go out for a throw-in or it's going to go in the back of the net, but you don't let it go out for a goal kick. That's a perfect centre-forward position. Alexander-Arnold. On to his left. It's a sign of his confidence. And it's a sign of his ability. The right leg over, drops his shoulder in, thinking about getting the shot on his so-called weaker left foot. I'm not sure he's got a weak foot, to be honest with you. A deeper one, free header. That was Connor Metcalf. The flag was up anyway. It was a free header though. Think they counted, but England beat Australia, which is always a welcome sentence in any sport for any Englishman. But the Australians certainly asked some questions tonight. Ollie Watkins who returned after 19 months away from international football with the all-important winning goal
his third for his country. It's finished at Wembley. England 1, Australia 0.